Hello, Galaxy of Heroes. Uh, this is um, part two of my uh, Empress Shuttle farming. Here you go. Currently on 52 of 80. This is the node I'm farming. The other key areas to look at, I suppose, are I'm currently on 115 uh, stun gun prototype salvage. And I'm on 79 ship ability material omegas or ship omegas so this is the node i've chosen hoth 5e i'm not going for the gear 12 pieces so much maybe that's an error on my part but um i'm just thinking stun guns are kind of one of the things that the characters are going to need to progress to being in a position to gear 12 so you know gear 11 should do for for some of this uh so this is enough waffling uh i do it in sixes so here we go again. So we've got two of those, two stun guns. Uh, I didn't look at those, so one of those. So we're on 620, so I've got one of well, these things called reinforcement mats as well. So let's go again. I'm going to burn through all of this energy. There's four, another two stun guns. Three, another two stun guns. Four, another two stun guns and a reinforcement mat. Five, wow. And two stun gun mats. Two, three stun gun mats and a reinforcement. Three, two stun gun mats, two reinforcements. Two, three stun gun mats. Oh, crap. I keep pressing the wrong button here, don't I? Two, and one reinforcement mat. Four, one reinforcement mat. One stun gun mat. And one ship Omega. Four, two stun guns. So where are we? 87 of 80. Yes. So I'm seven towards the 65. I need 58 more mats. We'll do one more. Take it down to 50 on there. So there's two. So I'm now on 89 of 80 um, on the ship. So continue. You know what? Sod it. Let's go on to hit. Oh, does it not pop up? Yay. I was going to say I'd be most disappointed if it didn't pop up. So. Do a snap and a snap and an activate. So here's the ship. Go away, picture. Slide to the side. Thank you very much. So let's get going at least. One, two, three, four. So there's your Emperor Shuttle. Wow. That was a huge. Oh, that was a momentous thing for me. So. I smashed through the 5 million marker there. Whoa, yay. So let's just confirm that. Um, have I? Oh, apparently I do have enough credits. Just wow. So let's take it up to level 85. Oh, it's all going off here, isn't it? Okay, so that's to there. Uh, where do we start? Start on here. Battle tested formation. So we'll just go through. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to max it, max it out. But I am going to take it up to. I think I'm going to take it up to six for now, and then I'll uh, I'll reevaluate. Okay. So we'll stop there. As I say, we'll go to six at the moment. Um, it's four star don't know how good it is i'm gonna play around but getting it was the first part of the uh oh, let me go up to there on this one so that's a 15 there plus 25 percent critical tam damage down chance okay oh i see so there's a 75 percent chance to inflict critical damage down on target enemies for two turns on target lock okay uh, so those two are done. 
Then we've got these here, deal special damage to target enemy of 50% chance to inflict target lock on them for two turns. Then the healthiest other empire or Sith ally taunts for one turn. So it's going to proc whoever's the healthiest to, uh, to taunt. Cool. I wasn't expecting to unlock. Um, the special damage to target enemy and inflict target lock. Okay, so I am going to spend five Omegas here because this one actually does bring in a target lock. It's a guaranteed target lock. Cool. And then we can extend that taunt duration for one if we wish. So that's the Royal Guard element. What's Palps do? Dispel all debuffs from target Empire or Sith ally. Then they recover 25% of their max health and protection. Dispel all buffs from target enemy with a 50% chance to inflict buff immunity on all target locked enemies for two turns. This ability starts on cooldown and can't be evaded. Okay, so these numbers are going to increase now. So let's just bump these up. Bump that one up. So with this one here, dispel all debuffs from target, empire, or ally, Sith ally. Then they recover 40% of their max health and protection. Dispel all buffs from target enemy and inflict buff immunity on all target locked enemies for two turns. Um, uh, I lost. What am I missing here? Oh, so it's just 10%, 40% of their max health. Plus 25% buff immunity challenge. Okay, right. So, yes, again, that is a, a given stat now. Right, so we've got that to finish off, that to finish off. Uh, enter battle, Emperor, Emperor's Shuttle gains protection up 25% and critical hit immunity for two turns. Empire and Sith allies gain a fence up for two turns, inflict tenacity down on target enemy for two turns, which can't be evaded or resisted. Yes, we will do that one. And that's as far as I go, because I cannot do the other bit, which is the Emperor's Shuttle can use Emperor's Influence immediately. Ooh, nice. So there we go. Shuttle activated. Thank you for watching.